Easing coronavirus restrictions too quickly could push Brits into a fourth national lockdown. One expert has Brits are currently living through a third national lockdown which had to be put in place after tier restrictions were unable to curb a rise in infections thought to have been caused by the Kent variant. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is set to reveal his roadmap out of lockdown on February 22nd with schools opening once more. But one scientist has warned that we need to continue to take a cautious approach and suggested that the new normal could include social distancing and the use of face masks. Professor Neil Ferguson, dubbed Professor Lockdown after his advice lead Mr. Johnson to the first national lockdown in March last year today warned that even with vaccines being rolled out, there are still threats we need to watch it out. Speaking to BBC Radio 4's Today program, Professor Ferguson warned that taking bigger risks now in terms of easing restrictions could cause more issues. He said, the downside of taking bigger risks is you risk having to lock down again which is even more disruptive economically and socially. Professor Ferguson did however agree with the cautious approach the government is currently taking in easing restrictions and said it would be a matter of relaxing one thing and seeing what the impact is and then relax. It may well still be that at the end of May we are in a very different country than we are in today, he added. Asked whether a different country would mean back to normal or Britain with some restrictions in place such as social distancing and face masks he said, we will still have rules in place but society will be a lot more normal, that is if things pan out the way we think they will and as the current data suggests they will. There are threats out there, we don't know for instance quite how effective the vaccines are, how long immunity will last and there is the threat of that we have to be driven by the data and the trends we see. Data published by Public Health England PHE, suggests that cases have fallen in 99% of areas, while data released by the experts at the Zoe Symptom Tracker app today states that since January, infections have dropped by 80%. Professor Ferguson said that the two most important factors when it comes to easing restrictions is how quickly infection levels are declining and in particular how quickly hospitalizations and deaths are He added, second is the emerging picture around the real-world effectiveness of the vaccines as they are being rolled out and both are looking promising at the moment. So the trade-off we have is between how quickly can we relax and how quickly we can immunize and protect the population and there are still risks at the moment in relaxing too quickly when we don't have enough immunity in the population. Bearing in mind that no vaccine will offer perfect protection. So far in the UK of 4 million people have received a first dose of either the Pfizer slash BioNTech jab or the Oxford slash AstraZeneca offering, with over half a million having received theirs. Professor Ferguson said that while a lot of promising data is coming out of Israel in relation to the Pfizer vaccine and its effectiveness, we still have a long He added, it's still early days though, it's only been 2-3 months since we have been vaccinating and it takes quite a long time to collect the data needed to really get a good handle on how 